and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale and in this video we're talking about this. It's the My Energy Harvey. I'm going to talk to you about why you might want to get one of these and how simple it is to install. So I've had the My Energy Harvey for, oh, I don't know, must be three or so years now. Had the original Gen 1 Harvey which recently stopped working but the awesome people at My Energy sent me out their replacement one, the Gen 2 one, which does look a lot nicer, doesn't it? So the reason why you might be considering a My Energy Harvey is because it's quite a long distance to your Zappy or your Eddy from your consumer unit or your kind of mains uh, kind of income for your electricity or perhaps to your solar panels and batteries and stuff like that. And basically what the, the Harvey allows you to do is basically give you wireless connectivity uh, from a CT clamp perspective. Now, if you're not sure what the CT clamps are, because you're new to all this and you're doing some research, um, CT clamps are basically something that clip over the cables, uh, either the live or the neutral. You just have to change the direction. There's a little direction arrow on the back here. Not sure how well that shows up. You clip that over and it does a couple of things. One, it produces um, the residual power through the cable, powers the device. So you don't have to have any additional mains but it enables the uh, Zappi and the Eddy to have information from the grid. So you have to have at least one of these CT clamps uh, from a grid perspective, and the, the Eddy and the Zappi both come with one of these cables in the box. And then as an optional extra, you can connect a CT clamp to your solar and also to your battery if you wanted to. If you did have a three-phase system, you'd have uh, three CT clamps. Uh, the CT clamps that come with them, uh, again, you don't get one with a Harvey, so you're going to use the one that came with your Eddy or your Zappi. It's a, a five meter cable, but if you need to extend it, you can just use some Cat5 Ethernet, which is what you'll see I have done. So the setup process is relatively straightforward. I'm going to take you through all that uh, quickly in this video. I'm going to connect up grid, solar and AC battery. Uh, the grid, I'm using the original CT clamp uh, and cable that came uh, with my Eddy because uh, it's basically in my consumer unit box. It's really easy to get to. And then the solar and battery stuff is on much longer lengths of Cat5 cable. And you'll see I've labeled all those up just for reference. Uh, have a little look at the Harvey itself. So we can see here there's a button for pairing and there is uh, a little light that's going to kind of light up down here to tell us what mode it's in. If you do have interference, you can set uh, change the channels. We should be okay with just a standard one. It has a little back box that you connect on and the CT clamp just feed through those holes there. And again, at the back, you don't need screwdrivers or anything. The, the CT clamp connectors are just push fit. You just basically push that and push the cables in and it's super duper easy. If you have a Zappi and an Eddy, one of these devices will already be set to be a master device and you have to make sure that you're setting your Harvey up on the master device. If you're not sure how you can check that, you can see here on the Eddy, basically you go through the menus, go to devices and whatever one has the M next to it, that dictates what the master is. Now I have the Eddy as a master just because that's inside the house. So if I want to mess around or anything, I can do. And then once, you, once we've connected these up, we just need to pair the device again with your Eddy or your Zappi, whatever one is the master, and then configure what each of the CT clamp inputs are. We're going to put the grid on CT1, the solar on CT2, and the AC battery on CT3. So let's head over to my house into the airing cupboard where we keep towels and toilet roll and hopefully show you on the Eddy how things are set up there. And then we we'll head over to the electricity box and actually install the Harvey. Okay, so here we are in my airing cupboard with the Eddy. So we just press the X button, brings us into the menu screen. And we're gonna go down to settings and then down to advanced mode. And unless your installer gave you a different code, it's just a four zero. So just press the tick button one two, three, four times. And then we're going to go into linked devices. And here you'll see your current devices. 
uh, if we go into devices mode there, but we're going to go into pairing mode. And it's just basically going to search whilst we get these things set up. It may time out and we can come back to that in a moment. You can see at the moment it's searching on channel one. So let's go down to electric cupboard and install the Harvey. Okay. So here we can see what I've got set up here. So this is the original um, CT clamp wire. You can see there's just the two ends there and I've labeled that grid and the green one, which again is the extension. It's a Cat5, just use a couple of the pairs. That's solar and then the other one there is battery. And you can see ideally you'd have these CT clamps further away from each other because they can interfere a little bit. Uh, one of them is for my solar edge inverter. This one is for my energy device. And then, uh, oh, the, the blue one's a solar edge. That's the my energy and that is the Tesla one. So they can interfere with each other a little bit. But again, you can see it's a little bit cramped in here. So not too many options. So let me just show you how we connect these up and uh, then get things paired. Okay, so what we're gonna do is feed the cables in through the holes here at the bottom just to keep things nice and neat. So apologies, obviously I'm doing this one-handed. Just pull those through and basically we're just gonna do that for all three of these. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, we can see there CT1, CT2 and CT3. And again, we're just gonna push down on the little uh, orange tabs and feed the cables in. And um, yeah, then we should have power. Let's do that for each of the CT wires. Okay, so we can see the CT wires all just clamped in there. Just give me a little tug to make sure they don't fall out. And to close up the box. Okay, and we can see there the green flashing light. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on the camera. It is flashing green, but we're going to pair now. It's flashing blue. Now it's flashing red. In pairing mode. It's just not showing up very well on the camera. It's probably a frame rate issue, but let's go back to the Eddy and get this thing paired. The other thing to note, actually, when you come to install uh, this back into the back box, there's a large resistor here uh, on the side near the CT clamps. So basically, I recommend that you put it in bottom end first so it fits in flush or you might catch that resistor on the bottom. You don't want to damage it because these are relatively expensive, but very, very handy. OK, so back here, we can see that it has found our Harvey. So you press the tick button. OK, so now everything's paired. Go back into the advanced mode. Oh. And we want to go to link devices, devices, down to our Harvey, and then we shall set these CT clamps. So grid, which while that's focusing, apologies, grid, C2 is generation, that's our solar. And the final one is AC battery. So now on the main screen, we can see we're generating 600 watts solar and uh, House is using 600 watts and nothing's going back to the grid. So now things will work. Basically any surplus solar we get will charge our Eddy or our Zappy. And we obviously get information on the devices as well as in the app if we have the hub. Okay, so that's it. As simple as that, I hope you agree. Fairly easy to set up the My Energy Harvey. This makes it much easier than having to run multiple CT cables to different things, especially if you have more than one 
um, device, it's easier just to have the Harvey closer to where you've got your gubbins and then just do wireless communication to the other things. So like this video if you have done, thanks very much for watching, I'll get my words out. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done already, until the next video, take care and goodbye for now.